Uh, just for grins and giggles, let's try this. See if we can make a preform out of this. This is like the worst case scenario. It's got cracks in it, all kinds of stuff. Sharp edges all the way around. I'm attacking the cracks first. Those are pretty bad. I might be able to get through those. I don't know if you can see the camera angle is not really that good. If I can get those cracks off of there, then I can see what I've got left. Looks all right. Just gonna flatten that out. Try not to overshoot it. Get rid of this other nasty stuff. Just a matter of whittling it down, that's all. Just whittling it down. I'm trying to hold it without cutting myself. Wherever I can catch it, that's where I hit. Make the, the ends thinner and then work on the middle. I don't want any overshots at this point because It'll take off from around the edge of outside of this, and I don't want that to happen. See, I just took off a little bit of that. Oh well. Still may be able to get the right size preform out of this. Now, there's no way I could do this with a hammer stone. Because I'm catching on little areas where it would be very difficult to be 
precise with a hammer stone. And the angles are all kind of funny. So the combination of the copper and being able to grip those areas that get the funny angles maybe what I need to be successful. I'm sure there's other ways I could have attacked this. But uh, I'm, I guess I'm used to the uh, chip away at it method. Who knows, I could have struck off a couple faces and got something flat right away. Right now I'm doing a zigzag on this edge. Since a zigzag is a lot of times the only way to quickly remove a lot of mass when you're whittling away like this. It's already six minutes. Let's see. Anything more than five minutes on a preform really is not a good use of time. I just wanted to get through that one to see one, if I could do it, and two, how it how it actually looked like when I got finished. So I got a lot of preform videos today. Hopefully, uh, that's what you guys wanted to see, since I see a lot of people viewing the, the first in the, each series, the first video in each series, when I just make the preform. We'll see. We'll see if you guys are looking at the preforms or people are just clicking on the first one out of curiosity. <laughs> these do well that means you guys looking at the preforms and need more uh, instruction or need more uh, ideas on how to work with these clunky pieces of stone or whatever to make the preforms but this isn't too bad now I can whittle this down I'll keep it on tape just for grins and giggles. This is actually from the middle of that core stone I was working on last night. And it, uh, it's really, really tough. I'm having to whack the heck out of this. Well, that's almost too thin right there. On the tip there, almost goofed up. wire is almost coming out. All it is is a piece of uh, electrical tape uh, around that wire. The hole is a little bit too big so I wrapped some electrical tape around that wire. 
nine minutes, ten minutes. Uh, a couple more good strikes is all I need. a weird crack in there. Oh well. I might still be able to make an arrowhead out of that. <laughs> 